What's up, YouTube? What's up, all my subscribers? Um, this is Dwight again, here with the personal channel Android Transformer, where you get to see a lot of Android stuff I talk about. Um, speaking of Android, Google has done a lot of updates to the website, uh, well, not to their website, to their engine, search engine, and they added some new features to YouTube, um, added some new features on the Android software. Also, Jelly Bean 4.2.1 is now available. Uh, if you guys have a Nexus 4, Nexus 7, 10, and, and a regular Nexus. Uh, I also got a Nexus, and I'll be doing an unboxing for that video um, in the next maybe 10, 20 minutes from now. So, uh, you guys see my unboxing of the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, right in Jelly Bean 4.1, of course. But in the meantime, we're going to do this Galaxy S2 review. This is the titanium color. Uh, this is by Sprint. Actually, this one has two uh, names. It has the Epic 4G Touch name, and it also has the Galaxy S2. But it has the S2 on the back, if you can see. And then it has a 8.0 uh, megapixel camera on the back with flash, and on the front, it's uh, two point megapixels. It's a four inch screen display. Has a uh, OMLED, uh, super OMLED um, display screen resolution. Resolution of 1920 by I'm thinking 1280. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, as you can see, the speaker is on the bottom left side. The volume rocker right there headphone jack at the top I don't know why they did that uh, power button right here on this side uh, the bottom is the USB port for the micro USB and on the inside you have the micro SD card slide and the battery so let's just go ahead and get into the software um, this one came with uh, it came with uh, let me see ice cream yeah ice cream um, you can update it to Jelly Bean um, this is pretty much um, it's all uh, fairly responsive as you can see and I actually like it can like constantly go like this like all the way like some devices you can't go from um, the first page to the last you have to go from uh, well, you could constantly go like this in a circle. You either have to like, like stop right. Okay, this is my first page. Or let's see. Okay, you go right here to this page. Then you have to constantly, you know, keep going. Then you can go no further after this. Then you have to go back this way. But this you can go all the way around in a, in a full circle type thing. And um, let's see. That's a great app on here. Uh, right now I didn't put too many apps on here because um, I'm just using this phone for you know reviews and just to let you all know what's a hot phone out here okay um, actually the S uh, Galaxy uh, S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 are one of the top Galaxy phones and Nexus but if you're in the market of the LG I would recommend LG Mock from Sprint and uh, the LG Optimus G that's on Sprint as well. If you have a Sprint, if you're a Sprint carrier, um, it's a very great phone. I mean, I'm not having too many problems with it. Um, it does what I needed to do. Um, you can surf the web, YouTube, Facebook, all that type of stuff. Play Store has Play Store on it. Okay, and um, you know you, you customize it any way you want to. There's there's no limits. Uh, it says my battery's low. Hey, it notifies you that your battery's low. Uh, I also like the uh, screensaver because if you look, it shows you the time, the date, um, the temperature, um, where you're located. If your if your um, battery needs charging, uh, swipe when go and type stuff like that. 
Now, I noticed one thing about this product is, um, or any product, if you have Google Voice, let's say you connect your phone to Google Voice, um, when people call you, it will like ask you, do you want to answer this call? If you want to answer this call, press 1. you want to go straight to voicemail, press 2. So, uh, if you do connect it to your Google Voice, uh, make sure that you... Uh, you 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 check your options. You you customize your Google Voice the way you want it because um, for some reason you know I let my lady use this phone and uh, you know she, her phone broke and she was like when people was calling her they asked her did she want to answer the phone or something like that and, and and it was because of I was using my Google Voice account with this phone which lets me not it notifies me through text message and email that I have a phone call, voicemail, or something something's going on with my phone when I'm away from the phone. So, I mean that that that's a good option, a good feature. <laughs> um right with Sprint, you get the Sprint um you get the Sprint apps like you get um Sprint Zone, uh Sprint TV, NASCAR, Sprint ID. So, if if you have this on Sprint uh, it's a it's a fairly good fairly good uh phone to use. It does not have 4G LTE, it just has 4G. As you can see at the top, my phone has 4G. So in my area, I I am um I'm in French Village in Illinois. Uh, that's the location I stay in. Um, uh, according to Google. <laughs> but uh, guys, yeah, like I was saying, uh, this is a great phone. Check it out. You can customize it any way you want to. You got Android, ice cream, Android jelly bean, whichever um, updated software you use. And also it comes with, you know, Samsung's um, software as well. Uh, let me see what else you got. Let's see. It should say something about Samsung something. Oh, Music Paradise. Oh, um, a warning to mention... If you play the game that's preloaded onto your uh, Sprint phone, you get charged. Unfortunately, um, it's best to, uh, you know, uh, download the games from Android if, if you want the game for free. Okay. All right, guys. So there you have it. It's very responsive. As you can see, I'm sliding and it. It's moving like super fast. So it's very responsive. Uh, it's good on calling. Um, the phone uh, battery life is, is 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 fairly decent. It's it's not the best and it's it's not the worst. It just depends on uh, how you use your phone. Okay, guys. So there you have it. This is my Samsung Galaxy S2 slash Epic 4G Touch review. Uh, let me know if you're gonna get one or not. Uh, this is the titanium version for Sprint. Uh, I know the other colors is black and white. Um, yeah, so there you go.